this experiment, you will observe phase changes in ice. You may need a helper for this lab. The helper can hold the thermometer as you keep time and fill the data table. First, you'll create a data table with the following columns. Time in minutes, temperature in degrees Celsius, state of matter, and notes. Attach the binder clip to the top of the thermometer, and then place the dowel rod through the loops of the binder clip. Crush 6 to 10 ice cubes. Put the ice in a gallon-sized plastic bag and cover it with a towel. Gently crush the ice with a rolling pin or frying pan. Or you can go outside and see if there's any snow left outside and just fill the pan with snow. Place the crushed ice in a small saucepan and place the saucepan on the stove burner. Use the dowel rod to hold the thermometer in the ice. Make sure the thermometer is not touching the bottom or sides of the pan. You want to record the temperature of the water as it heats up, not the temperature of the pan. You'll want to stir the water once in a while, or you'll get hot spots in the water. Record the temperature of the ice in the data table. Turn on the stove to medium-high heat and start the stopwatch. Be careful as you work on the stove. Don't touch the stove, saucepan, thermometer, or binder clip. Record the temperature and state of matter every 30 seconds in the data table. Note when the water begins to boil and when all the ice is melted. Stop recording the temperature one minute after the water begins to boil. When you have finished the experiment, allow the water in the saucepan to cool before you pour it down the drain. Allow the thermometer and binder clip to cool before you dry them.